All right, it's new dining review time. The Zumi is now covered in the unlimited dining plan, so let's do this. All right, here we go. All right, hot towels for wash and a mommy to share. So they got the Mio sparkling sake and the Plum House sake. These are both included in the drink package. Yeah. <laughs> they 
very cold. Pretty cold. Where is from the freezer? But your holy cow. It was killed by your holy shit. I'm from Baba Gum, and the Japanese alligator from your backyard. All right, and I think you're ready with the game. Who's my first volunteer? You sir? Yes, come on. <laughs> You have to do it because you're celebrating your anniversary. How many weeks? A ah, year. Why that you can? You have a bigger mouth than that. Because it's delicious. Okay. I'm telling you, I don't like this game, but I don't have a choice. There we go, Mr. Jeff, all the way from New York. New York. Oh, that's my hometown, Mr. Hassan. Under the bridge. Okay. Here <laughs> 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 you go. Okay, let's start first the ladies. Thank you for waiting with us. Very hot. the fried rice so far. So good. Alright guys, this is obviously not a cruise ship, um, and I wasn't sure if you guys were able to tell by uh, some of my videos. I got horribly sick. Um, I got an infection in both my eyes. I had bronchitis. Um, it was a rough cruise. I uh, wasn't able to quite film my recaps for both Izumi and 150 Central Park, um, so I'm going to do that now. We're going to um, obviously start with Izumi since that's what you just watched. So Izumi just opened up Hibachi for the unlimited dining plan, which Jeff and I had. And I got to say, it, in my opinion, it's not worth it. Um, not the food was bad. I just, it wasn't memorable. Like, I don't think there was, I've had better Hibachi, I guess, elsewhere. And the other thing is, is it's not covered. You just get a $35 credit and most of the Hibachi meals are in the $45, $50-ish price range. So it's not fully included um, and there's a lot better options especially on that ship where you can get your full cover charge and better food in my opinion um, what I found in that venue is there's only three hibachi tables and it's just it's very squished in um, and the routines that each of the chefs do are just it's the same so you're kind of hearing the same thing on each side of you until your chef does it um, and like I said, the food was, the food was okay. It was good. Um, it just, it wasn't memorable and I don't think it's worth that extra charge. So that is my opinion. Let me know what questions you have below. Let me know what your favorite eating venues are on board a ship. Or if you've never been on a ship, let me know what you think. Have a great day. Thanks guys.